Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we're going to be doing the Taibo one Eye Trio cleanup activity. The quest requirement is Jungle Potion, and the stat requirement is 10 woodcutting. Items needed, 60 coins, or any kind of machete. Now, it is said, I cannot confirm this, that gem-covered machetes make it go a little bit faster. For the recommended items, approximately 5 empty inventory slots would be nice, and for the rest, that depends on what you want. Do you want to get 100% favor as fast as possible without getting any chance of getting a gout tuber? Then you will need to bring along some food, armor, weapon and potions to kill approximately 75 level 44 jungle spiders. Now if you do want to get a chance of getting a gout tuber, which is a requirement for the medium diary, which you can also buy from the Grand Exchange for like 1 million at the moment. But if you want to get that yourself, then you will want to bring along about 8 doses of anti-poison, a spit to dig out the gout tuber, some coins to buy more anti-poisons and bread from the shop here just northwest of Taibo Manai village, as well as some food, armor and weapon to kill monsters between combat 13 and 44 if you would want to. And for the teleports, one teleportation method out of here after the quest is completed. So if you do not own any machete, then just go to the shop just northwest of Taibo Wanai village and buy one for 60 coins. Once you have the machete, go a bit southeast to the eastern part of Taibo Wanai village and there you'll find Murkali in front of the hardwood grove, just east of where you've started and completed the jungle potion quest. Behind Trufitus' building, let's talk to Murkali and select option 2, 1, and then 5. After speaking to him, let's go a bit southwest and there you'll find next to the fence a ladder sign. Climb up that ladder and then go west. There you'll find a guy in pink. Talk to, Shimmer, talk to him and select option 1 twice. This will be a little long conversation and after we have finished this conversation we can start chopping down the light jungle. Once the conversation is over let's go back downstairs, equip your machete and then chop down a light jungle. Now I know that there are three kinds of jungle, light, medium and dense. But the fastest ones that you can cut down with the least amount of NPCs spawning is the light jungle and this, and this makes the chance of getting a gout tuber a bit faster. If you do not want to get a gout tuber then you will still need to chop down at least like one light jungle until you have like three spars. Now while cutting the light jungle or any kind of jungle there will be various NPCs that are able to spawn while doing this. You can simply defeat them using any weapon. There's also a specific NPC called a Brood Victim that you're able to spawn. To be able to deal damage to the green one, you will need to use anti-poisons on him, the white one, any edible food, and the yellow one, Relicium Bomb. Or you could just simply run away and hop worlds. You will need to hop worlds because they have a quite long despawn timer. Next, once you've cut down a light jungle, then go to the fence, doesn't matter where, and then re Pair it. Alright, once you have fixed the defense, let's return to Murkali. Be sure that you have at least 2% Taibo Wanai favor. Talk to him to receive some trading sticks. Now the path splits for the people that want to get the 100% favor as fast as possible without having any chance of getting a gout tuber for themselves. And therefore, you will simply need to run north. North of the Kalquat patch, they'll find a couple of jungle spiders. They are not visible on the minimap. Simply kill the jungle spiders. They will provide between 1 and 2% favor and simply kill them until you've reached 100% favor. But if you want to get a gout tuber yourself, they will need to continue chopping down some light jungle by equipping your machete and do this until you've reached 100% favor. Keep chopping down the light jungle because they are the fastest one to chop down. You do not need to repair the fence anymore so you can simply drop your spars and just keep chopping down until you have gotten yourself a gout tuber. Once you've cut down any jungle, light, medium or dense, 
there's a 94% chance that there will be absolutely nothing. Then there's a 5% chance, holy fuck, that you get a gem rock. If you've brought along a pickaxe, you can get some gems from mining the rocks to make them disappear faster, but I don't think that is really necessary in my opinion because the gems are quite useless. Then there's a 1% chance that from any kind of bush that you can get a gout tuber root. Simply use your spade on it to dig it out. Now because of the 1% chance of getting a gout tuber, you can easily reach 100% favor before getting it. So once you've reached 100% favor and you still do not have your gout tuber, you can talk to various villagers holding trading sticks to reduce your favor back down in trade of some trading sticks. So depending on your luck, this can take five minutes up to like six hours or even more. Once you have reached 100% favor, congratulations, you have completed a requirement for my arms big adventure, as well as a Karamja medium task. This was my quick guide how to complete the cleanup of Taibo 1i Trio. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.